Listen, if you've been married for any length of time or, or even in a dating relationship for, say, I don't know, like eight hours, you've probably had that conversation. So what do you want for dinner? No, what do you want for dinner? Where do you want to go? No, where do you want to go? Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast. Five minute videos, five days a week. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. And sometimes our desires, our, our hungers are not as simple as will it be Taco Bell or Cheesecake Factory. Sometimes those desires, they're, they're deep within us. They're driving passions, the, the kind of passions that cause us to jump from career to career. We, we feel like there's just not the kind of satisfaction that I want in this particular job. Maybe, maybe if I find a different, not just a different job, a different employer doing the same thing, but a totally different career field. Or, or maybe if I just become a, a lifetime student, you know, like a career student, one of those people who has so many degrees, they look like a thermometer, but they don't know what their job is yet. Or maybe it's relationships, and so you hop from relationships to relationships, and, and you realize that it doesn't matter if they're friends or they're friends with benefits or they're the significant other or the spouse, that they're just not fulfilling you the way you want to be fulfilled. There's something still missing. This raging, burning desire in you. Some people, they continue to pursue this desire. They become adrenaline junkies. They get into walking on the edges of buildings or jumping off of them and risking their life. Some get into drugs and alcohol and they still can't silence this longing in their head. There's still something driving them forward. They're still seeking something. They're just not sure what it is. If I could see you all, I'd say raise your hand if that's you, because I know there's a large percentage of the population on this, on this planet Earth who are living every day. They wake up every day with the hunger to do, to be, to become, to have something more than what they have right now, but they just can't get their fingers on it. In fact, what they can't get a hold of is, what is it? What is it that I'm longing for? What is it that I'm craving? It's like being homesick for a place you've never been. It's like desiring that, that savory flavor of something you've never tasted before. Like, like getting your hands on something that you know once you get it, you're going to love it. But you don't know what it is. You, you can't put your hands on it. You can't put your words around it. You can't actually articulate, this is what I want. I'll go to Amazon and I will buy or I will get in a plane and I will fly to and I will get my education and I will do. We don't know. See, on the back of my business card, the toughest leadership question I've ever been asked or ever asked is bigger than my name on the back of the card. It's bigger than my business name on the back of the card. And all it says is, what do you want? See, the reality for many people is we live this life of an insatiable desire, a hungering, a longing, a wanting for something, and we can't label it, which means we can't find it. We can't buy it. We can't achieve it. We can't do it. We can't become it because we don't know what it is, but we know we want it. We know we're not satisfied right here, but what is that it. I think it's a desire to be more significant. Brendan Burchard says it this way when he tells his story of the car crash in, in Central America. He says, I was standing there on the car and I asked myself, did I love? Did I matter? Did I truly live? Did I love? And did I matter? And I think that's a pretty close aspect of, I mean, it, it's really parallel to what I believe everyone is seeking. See, I, I believe without being able to put your finger on it, there's this level of freedom and independence that comes from being able to lead your life the way you want to, to be able to make decisions on your own, to be able to, to choose your destiny. We all have this longing in us that Someone somewhere else is kind of pulling the strings and, and pushing the levers and controlling the choices that we make. Whether it's the propaganda of effective advertising or the persuasion of the people around us, we feel like somehow I just don't get to choose. And that discomfort, that longing, that constant pursuit of better, 
of more, of becoming someone else and something else. That, that sometimes can drive you to the brink of insanity. Maybe not literally, but you feel like it. I'm working on some new stuff right now that I think is going to be um, palpable in this longing, in this desire, in this, what is this solution? I believe there are five aspects that we all pursue. We just haven't been able to put our finger on them. If I ask you, do you want more authority in your life? You'd be like, well, I don't know. Do you mean me having to listen to more people or do you mean me more in charge of stuff? And that's part of the challenge because we're not sure what authority is. Why would we desire that? But I think that freedom and independence that we want, it's, it's kind of hidden behind that authority along with respect and influence and impact and transformation. See, I, I think those are the five things that we're all really looking for and, and we just don't know it because they've never really been defined for us or the pursuit of them has never been laid out in a pathway that we can go, that's what I'm after. That's what I want. Now I know how to get it. And so I'm working on that right now so that we can actually begin to lay out a path to find authority and respect and influence and impact and transformation in our lives. And I believe there will be a lot of people whose lives will take on a new level of freedom and independence when they get their hands on this. So I appreciate your help and your support and appreciate your encouragement. And if you have some of those burning questions where you're just thinking, and I just, if I could just put my finger on it, I'd love to know what those questions feel like to you. What, what do they sound like? How do they play out in your head? And what are your thoughts? Do you think authority would change the balance of that longing in your life from where you're at now to where you really want to be? Let's talk about that. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Subscribe now for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom.